The city of Marion is without leadership. Its city council hasn't met in over four months. Just yesterday, we told you about two people resigning from the city of Marion, the mayor and the secretary. Tonight, the 19 Zaria Oates sits down with the now former secretary, who admits she's the reason there's no city council. Two positions that are vital to Marion city government functioning properly are now vacant. One being the mayor's seat, voters elected Daniel H. Loyola in November 2023. He resigned July 1st after just six months in office. The other was former secretary Suzanne Gonzalez. She resigned from her appointed seat on July 2nd. Because my position is the only one in City Hall who's running things. I wear many hats. There were 62 different major job responsibilities. So I was city secretary, bookkeeper, um, you could say city manager in a sense. Gonzalez says she didn't know Loyola was going to resign. But when he did, I felt that there was going to be more pressure and more attacks um, lashing out, if you will, towards me. And I can't let someone bully me. Uh, there's a lot of finger pointing, a lot of going back and forth. And I was like, the citizens don't need this. Um, they really don't. Since there's nobody else, Mayor Pro Tem Abigail Mayberry is now responsible for the mayor's duties. She says many of the issues within the city government got worse when former Secretary Gonzalez did not file paperwork properly. It's why the city couldn't have an election in May. This means Marion currently does not have a city council. That is a failure on my part, and I've taken a responsibility for that. Um, immediately upon realizing that I made that mistake, I reached out to our mayor, I reached out to our city attorney and the um, voters office in Guadalupe County. So I wasn't trying to hide anything. It was certainly non-intentional. So the city is expected to be without a mayor and without a city council for months. Um, and there won't be an election until November unless the governor would call a state of emergency. And no one currently employed by the city of Marion actually has access to sign any checks. These documents from Marion State Bank show that the only two people on the city accounts are the two people who just resigned. So we asked Gonzalez what her advice to voters would be. Gather your questions and make them very, very specific about what you're asking for and start requesting open records request. That's the best advice I can give them at this point in time. Zaria Oates, KSAT 12 News.